Hello. Hi, Vineer Day. How are you? I miss you. Welcome to class. Today is Monday, week eight. We will continue talking about shopping. So first, do you know this word? Do you know pros? Do you know cons? What are pros? Like a benefit or advantage? It's a good thing. A pro is a good thing. A con is a disadvantage. Or a bad thing. So when I think about doing something or going somewhere or I imagine or I think about what are some things that are good about this benefits and what are some things that are bad? So Let's think about cash, using cash. What are pros to using cash? Remember cash is like dollar bills and coins. What are some pros? Maybe it's your money. Don't spend more than you need. When you are finished, you are finished. You can't spend more than you have. But maybe a con of money, if you lose cash, you can't get it back. If you lose it, maybe you leave it at a restaurant, you leave it somewhere, or somebody steals your cash, you can't get it back. That's a con. What about debit or checks, debit card? What about some pros or some advantages to using a debit card. It comes right out of your account. That's good. If you lose it, you can get another. So you lose your debit card, it's okay. You can get another one, get a new one. What are some cons to using a debit or, or check? Checks take a couple days to come out of your account. What else? Talk about it. What else are good and bad things about using a debit card or checks? What about credit? What is a good thing or an advantage to using a 
credit card. If you need more money, you can borrow it. Sometimes you need to borrow money. So you can use a credit card. But a bad thing is you have to pay interest. Remember, interest is the money that you pay for borrowing money. You have to pay interest. So that's not good. Maybe disadvantage, right? Disadvantage. So think about the pros and cons of credit cards. What is good and what is not good about using credit cards? Talk about it. Turn to page 91. 91. We are talking about using words have to and must. Have to means that I need to do something. Must is a little stronger. I really need to do it. On page 91, you will fill in the blank with have to or must. Remember, have to must. We do not have to here, just must. So pay attention here. I must go shopping. I must go shopping tonight so I can cook dinner. You have to pay your credit card bill every month. See how it says to? You don't need to write that. Have to pay. Let's try number three. Teresa must write a good check. There's no two here, so we say must. We have to read advertisements to look for bargains. Number five, you have to make sure you have cash in your account before using the ATM. Number six, Ella must ask about return policies before buying her flat screen TV. You and I have to Compare prices so we can be smart consumers. I must be careful not to spend more than I can afford with my credit card. Okay, these ones are challenged. These are really difficult. She has to. Remember, if we have she, S. So not have to, but has to. She has to. He has to. Yeah, it's the same because it is he, John, 
he has to purchase a warranty to protect his expensive computer. Good, so those are some rules about using must and have to. Let's talk about these words now. What word? Smart. What word? Purchase. Purchase. Smart purchase. What do you think smart purchase is? You know smart means that you understand a lot of things. <clears throat> Purchase means you buy something. Maybe smart purchase means you buy something in a way that is really good or smart. Okay, <clears throat> let's talk about these words now. What word? Return. What is return? When I go to the store, I need to return something. That means take it back to the store. Maybe you get your money back. Or maybe you get store credit. Money back that you can spend at the store. So it's not cash back, but it's money for the store. I return it, I might get money back, I might get store credit. Warranty, what's a warranty? If what you bought breaks, if it breaks, you don't have to pay for it. Warranty. What about bargain? That means it's a really good deal. It's cheap. That's a bargain. That's a good deal. It does not cost a lot of money. Go to page 93. 93, it says, making a smart purchase. We will use these words to fill the blanks. Ready? 93. You want to buy a new couch. We're at the beginning here. You want to buy a new couch. Your budget is $500. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember, budget means how much money you can spend. You need to blank around. What does that mean? If your budget is $500, which word goes in the blank? You need to shop. You need to shop around. And you need to, what? Prices. Because you want to find the best. You need to compare prices. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because you want to find the best price. Maybe you will find the best bargain. You also want to make sure the couch has a good policy. Warranty policy. Remember warranty is if you if it breaks, you do not pay. 
you also want to purchase a, oh, whoops. This is return policy, return policy. If you need to return it and purchase a warranty, warranty in case it breaks. In case it gets damaged. Good. Read this, this again to check your answer. Read it again, page 93. Then go to page 94, and that is your homework for today. You will work with a partner to fill the blanks on page 94. It looks like this, you will choose a word in the blank and you'll fill the blanks with the right word and then discuss the question at the bottom. Talk about it together as a class.